at Miss Little this year, we opted for uh, a focus on another artist each day because that way we could show multiple facets of the practice and uh, because several artists have pluridisciplinary practices today. Um, we show each day a different artist in a section of the group. So we show the gallery program in another part, but in this part we show in fact uh, several aspects today of Fabrice Saman. Fabrice is somebody who works uh, a lot around the concept of time, place, light, and here we have a sculpture. We always try to have, let's say, a more monumental sculpture central in the, in the booth. Um, this is a Jacob Scholar, uh, a sculpture by Fabrice referring to Jacob's ladder, and it's like the traces that remain of somebody who painted the heaven in gold with all the, the drops of paint that were falling on the ladder that's like a remnant of a spiritual site. Fabrice is somebody who often uses gold leaf in a very discreet way to, let's say, put an accent on the spiritual side. The use of gold also historically in art was used in the icons, etc., to uh, magnify the existence. And here we see the, the very moderate use of gold in a very precise way uh, as a trace that remains of a, let's say, utopian tentative. Other aspects of his work, which include sound pieces, photography, um, light sculptures and other, is also photography. And in his uh, photographic work, which we see two uh, examples here, where he, in fact, took close-ups of the navels of Adam and Eve, painted, in this case, by Jan Gossart. And by making a very precise close-up, we have an image that makes us think about the galaxies. Some people see an iconography in it. But all images that have a relation to where do we come from, where do we go to the origin. In this case, the navels of Adam and Eve. Already, why the navel and why were these peace people portrayed with the navel? Because it is well known Adam and Eva had no mother. So the idea of the navel is a very precise uh, element that has been withdrawn and provokes, let's say, decontextualized a very uh, strong image about our origin. And then still another aspect is the sculpture we see here, which uh, is the globe under which often the saints were portrayed. And here it's a globe in uh, full glass. So it's the absence, but at the same time, it's completely filled. So it's a presence also of a pure glass objects that in a certain way is very enigmatic in which some people see a reference to phallic symbols and other but it's the title Marie already indicates a kind of I would say re historical religious connotation and uh, this idea of, of Mary the mother of Jesus that uh, had a very important place in a lot of let's say pictorial aspects of art history and then a third element here, uh, Fabrice is somebody who also paints. He has several series uh, of oil paintings and here we have a series which uh, make us think of a fountain, the, 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 the little drops of water that, that are on the top, but uh, also the origin of life and it's a triptych of, um, let's say, very intense and pure beauty in a certain way, but that have a very, very vital uh, connotation and that also have in a certain way because of their absence of spiritual side to it. So I don't know if that gives an idea of the work of Fabrice, but the whole concept of the boot is to be able to show a bit more of the practice of an artist and not just limit us to one piece which might be desirable, so it's something we think has more coherence.